Hello and welcome to the Organ at Howard Park. This video is intended to assist with the problem that people experience with, in, with beating sounds that come from a high level uh, audio output, whether it be from real pipes, because I've heard it with real pipes, or with, as here, electronic speakers. And we're going to look at first the tuba stop and this is a very very loud stop and this comes through one loud speaker um, the argument of course is it, when things come from different speakers or different pipes is that uh, the uh, effects different I'm going to play a couple of notes now I'm going to play them together and you can probably it's best ear splittingly loud I'm having to shout against it, and you can hear a vibration, and you can probably hear a sound that is somewhat um, uh, down here. Oh, oh. And that's the beat frequency. Now, I'm going to go now to a stop which is I'm going to use a two burner trumpet with a nice uh, set of harmonics and on this we can um, actually uh, adjust a theoretical wind chest as if it was a, um, a pipe organ and we're going to set that to mono so that we can hear the same effect. This gives the sound really of a, uh, a, an enchamade trumpet And you can sort of hear that note. It's nearer to... Oh. I'm going to play the fifth. And you can still hear that. Oh. Oh. Actually, it's just that one. Oh. And then... Oh. Oh. You can hear an A flat, I think. But you have to be very much listening for that. Now, when I put the camera down and change from um, uh, mono to... I wonder if I can do this at the same time. Here we are. Um, let's play the two notes. So where we've got mono, mono left, Mono right. And this is interesting. This is um, what's known as C, C sharp division, as if one set of pipes is coming out from one speaker and then uh, the next is coming from the other side. So it's as if you've got two organ cases and this note coming from the left and this one coming from the right. In fact, on this I use two different types of speaker for a particular reason, but that's another story. This comes from one speaker, that comes from another, that comes from the other, and that one comes from the same speaker. I can see... Um, I've got another problem here. The reverberation that is in, in, in the system isn't even. I've got to deal with that. So, that is coming from one speaker. That's coming from the next. That's coming from the next. And those two are coming from the same speaker. And there you can hear... Oh. Oh. And you can hear... Oh. Now... If I do these two notes, they're actually coming from the two different speakers. So here we can hear, or perhaps a little. These two notes are going to come from different speakers. I wonder if the effect is going to be less. And that comes from the same speaker. And here, 
these are coming from different speakers, different sources, and we can still hear that note. So here we've got the two sounds coming from different speakers, and I'm going to put that into mono. And so those are now coming from the ones, the, the same speakers. Let's change it. That's coming from the left speaker. That's coming from the right speaker. And that's coming from the two independent speakers. Having deafened ourselves with the trumpets and tubers, we're going to go to the open diapason. Now, I don't like this open diapason on the original instrument, and this is one uh, from one speaker. Oh, oh, oh. I can hear it there. I can hear something. Oh, just. Oh, I can just about hear that. So we're going to change from here to the open diapason here. And here we're going to go to a wind chest. So now we're in division B. So here's division B. Oh, I wish I could get the camera to stay there. So, as you can see, um, this is going to be in uh, with the two notes out of different speakers. And I'm now going to put it into uh, mono and put it through the same speaker. No, mono right. To mono right. To mono left. It's further away. To mono both. There, it's coming out of two different speakers. We can still hear the beat note. This is quite interesting because it sounds as though it's a function of volume that we hear, because there, the speaker's further away, and I think that's about the same level of beat note as... So that's the two notes coming from two speakers. And that's from a speaker that's further away. And that's a speaker that's nearer to us. So I wonder whether it's purely a, a sound level related. Let's change to a flute. There's the flute. Oh, those are the two notes out of two different speakers. And let's go to the same note, two notes out of one speaker further away. So that's 
the further away speaker and putting it the two notes through separate speakers doesn't make a lot of difference but when I put it through the near speaker it gets louder Now, that's through one mono speaker, and that's separating the two notes out. Go back to the mono speaker. Now we'll go to the fifth. 